Well, I'm sitting here at the editing table this evening, gonna put today's video together and realized I deleted like, I don't know, maybe 15 clips of the beginning of my video. So we spent the night in the Kompanom last night. That was my last video. And this morning we took a really nice, beautiful walk uh, down the Mekong River up in the Kompanom. Met some interesting people, showed you some of the really awesome selfie, selfie stations. And anyway, it happens. And yeah, I lost it. I can't retrieve it because uh, <laughs> I just can't. I tried. But anyway, we had a really good time uh, in the Kompanom, just me and Paige. We've got to do that more often. We've got a lot of downtime right now waiting on my passport to come back to me and um, <laughs> not a whole lot going on. Somebody made an interesting comment to me like, oh, you're running out of content. I, I ended up deleting the guy, not because he said that, because his name was uh, Ben Bendover. <laughs> so I knew he was a jackass anyway, but uh, it's just probably somebody that like, a lot of these people that like to come stir the pot, you know, but, um, you know, we just show everyday life videos and when there's nothing to do, there's really, I don't want to, I don't want to just make a boring video of doing nothing all day. So yeah, sometimes I do run out of content, but we, we have nothing going on, but I know probably 85% of my viewers want to see the everyday just whatever happens type video. So that's what I'm gonna continue to do. And that's pretty much what this channel is about. So, but yeah, we had a great stay. I did a little bit of a, you know, showed the hotel a little bit and a recommendation for the hotel. The hotel was pretty nice. We ended up getting the hotel for like 850 baht. It was on sale like 30% off because they don't have a lot of customers right now. But anyway, yeah, we, uh, we just sat down and this is where it's gonna start. I, I always like these, it's kind of like, you don't really know what's in it. like a little Christmas present. <laughs> Very little Christmas present. <laughs> it's a tua, two bean. Yay. Looks like here they got a couple of bicycle rentals too. When my friend opens up her hotel down the street here, we'll do a review on that. That's where I would re She got a beautiful spot actually on the river. And I think she's gonna have bicycle rental or free bike too. You know, I have seen a couple of things evolve from this, I guess you can call it the new norm, right? With all the, and I, and it was popular before this, but now it's even more popular with the Grab. And then there's been a couple of other companies that started on, but it's good business for, you know, delivering goods and stuff, and it's easy. And also like 7-Eleven, and they have these virtual apps where you could go to the mall or go to 7, and you can shop. And then, you know, you just pay for it online, or you cash on delivery sometimes and then they just deliver it to you but uh you know anything you want kfc and which is good for out here because a lot of people don't have transportation you know? like a lot of the, the whole family in the house they all don't have a vehicle and it's easy just to, to text or pick up the phone and order order some food and have it delivered i think that's cool i like to trip out myself but a lot of people don't have cars and motorbikes in Thailand. 
I'm telling them about all the clips that I've lost <laughs> on my video, so it's, it's okay. It happens. But we'll go back to Nakompanom again, huh? Um, we had a good time at the walk. Maybe we'll do it again next weekend. Who knows? Maybe stay at a, our friends opening up a hotel there, so we'll be staying there a lot. Anyway, so yeah, after that we ended up doing a little bit of shopping at the Lotas Tesco. It's like nobody here this morning, huh? At 9:48. A lot of people ask me about how did I learn to, I can, I can read and write Thai way better than I can speak it. I can understand maybe, I'll say about 80% of Thai and Isan language, but uh, the speaking part is the most difficult. But one of the things I did, I, I tried, I practiced really, really hard for like two weeks and remember, memorized the alphabet. And uh, I'm telling you, like, that was like my job all day for for like a couple of weeks but one thing that really got me good practicing was i would buy these little like books like i don't know like elementary or first grader type books and this is what i would use to to learn on my own really uh you know to to practice my penmanship and the Thai language, I would buy little tiny, come here and just buy a whole bunch of books. I still have them at home, but uh, that helped me a lot. And I don't really have time, but cartoons or kid shows, like Thai kid shows or cartoon, is the best, best way to really pick up, an easy way to pick up speaking language. Beer. Okay. Let's give that a smell. <laughs> Interesting. I'm gonna have to get it. Maybe I'll uh, be more attractive to Paige. <laughs> <laughs> or a bunch of big, older, drunken Thai women. <laughs> beer. <laughs> Smell like beer? <laughs> if I wear that, will I be uh, like attract a bunch of drunken Thai women? Mm, no, you attract those Lao Khao people. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna get it just for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. So I can smell like beer. So no. Free no. Buy one, get one free. Gonna fifty buck. So we get it. That looks better. Mm. It's on sale. I know. Somebody asked me about rice. Like, I think on the cooking channel, though, probably, I don't know if he watches this channel or not, but 
why is there so many different brands of rice? But my first thought was like, why are there so many different brands of anything? But to be honest, what it is, is a lot of this comes from different areas too of Thailand, not just different companies, but different areas. So that's from Roy Ed. Yeah. So if you want Roy Ed, but you know, really there's a different taste of food depending on where it comes mm -hmm. from anywhere, especially yeah. the fruit. Uh, Jantap Bori, which is south, kind of directly south from mm -hmm. us is really has the best tasting fruit I think because of the ri richness of the red soil but it's just I mean yeah you got different types of grain that but one. it's just uh, also like a, a different flavor depending on where it's bought from mm -hmm. I don't know <laughs> yep. right. if I ask too many questions then the reply is going to be, you think too much. So, <laughs> you know, also in the States, they always have one little section yeah, of Asian it. food, but you can just buy the seasoning already pre-mixed, right? Mm -hmm. Just follow. And just follow the instructions. Here's your, here's my favorite lap mole. Mm -hmm. Actually. No, that's pat ka pao. Oh, I'm that's sorry. Lap. This is <laughs> pat ka pao. Yeah, it even says it in English, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and lap mm -hmm. How do you get this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, lap mm -hmm. See, they spell it in this is This is how I would spell it, really, because that's how I hear it in Thai, lap. But when you do, like, Google Translation, it's larp. Larp with R. It's, it's not larp mu. I don't know why Google puts an R in there. Because in the Thai, it's lap. There's no R in the in lap. But that's how I would spell it too. L A A B. Lap. But you know, that's a problem with spelling phonics on my YouTube channel. They're like, oh, that's not how you spell it. But I guess the, it's difficult for them to understand it's not a, an English word, it's a Thai word, and it's phonics. The curry. Oh, that's with the, the curry. coconut. Oh. It's already made. You just heat it up it and put your chicken in it. Very, very good. So if you're not super creative, mm -hmm. <laughs> you could just do that. A single family. Yeah, for one person. Right. But if you wanna make, just have my own make. Get a lot of ingredients. Sweet and sour sauce. Everything. Indian chili, cumin powder. Oh, I need more cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Say cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay, very good. Right here. It's a difficult word for Thai people to say cinnamon. Can you say Vietnam? Vietnam. Okay. Can you say Van? Van. <laughs> Van. There's no V in the Thai language. It's a, it's it's like a wall wan wan wan. So they don't have a V sound. So it's funny sometimes to hear them say it. it's. They call it wan. It's spelled wan. Wrote wan is a van. You want some UFC corn? <laughs> they got some pumpkin soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Donut. I never knew that that cart was a trolley. Trolley. That's a trolley. To me, a trolley is like something like you get on it, like Disney World or something. No. That's okay. Just leave it. It's for the windshield wipers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now we're home and wonderful Tat Phnom. Everybody missed us, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, boom. That's not what I want to put on my video. I have bumps. <laughs> you can cut it. <laughs> 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 And it's uh, six o'clock. Nam Kang. Nam Kang. I gotta go buy ice. 
and I'm carrying today. We're not having a big Sunday fun day today because uh, everybody kind of went out of town yesterday. Yes. So, uh, yeah, let me go buy ice and then we'll go sit down and have a meal and yeah, finish our day. Mm-hmm. Chung mm -hmm. I lost two of my fish. You lost two fish, why? Yeah, they stepped out and died. Commit suicide? Mm -hmm. Probably. If I had to sit in that friggin' tank all the rest of my life, I'd jump out too. Well, that little trip was pretty good. I don't do very good. People keep asking me about my tattoo. Am I gonna make a video about it? I made a couple of videos about it and I'm not gonna do another one, but I think he wants to put a little bit more white after it heals up some. Well, it's already healed, but anyway, it's windy. I don't do well sitting at home. We can't go anywhere right now because of the restrictions. We can go anywhere we want in Isan, which we're going to soon, but um, I want to go to the beach, <laughs> big time. The ocean, the sea, the gulf, but I can't right now, but it's coming soon. So it was a good time for me to do my, my visa renewal for sure. Hang on a second, I gotta... Yay! Aonam Kang Top. Sipak Top. So, anyway, uh, this is why we don't own a house somewhere other than here because I wouldn't, I couldn't sit in Batang for more than two months or anywhere in Thailand for two months. I can't, I can't do it. If I'm gonna sit, a, if I'm gonna own a house and become Kapu Kap Mail, Kitty Kitty, yeah. If I'm gonna be Mr. Uh, homemaker again, I might as well just go back to my country, and get a job, and do all that stuff. I don't, I don't want to have the burden of a home right now. I love the freedom I have in my life. I love it a lot and right now I don't have it <laughs> so I'm a little crazy right now but uh the ladies want me to take them to Chien Khan which is north of here not too far so we might do that pretty soon maybe here in the next week Chien Khan's a beautiful place and uh always time for the ocean but when we go to the ocean we don't just go to one spot and I like to hit multiple spots then come here and chill for about a week and a half to two and then off again mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> This is how much my family loves me. They want to make sure I have a drink. Or two. <laughs> well guys, I'm going to end the video today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of fun things coming. I just need to get my passport. Anyway, I'm going to hang in there. I hope you guys are doing the same, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.